The Florida Everglades is one of the most diverse ecosystems in the entire world. Inside the Everglades, you can find many interdependent ecosystems functioning, including cypress swamps, mangrove forests, pine rockland, and tropical hardwood hammocks. These provide shelter and home for thousands of animal species, but now it's providing a home for an introduced snake that is wreaking havoc on the environment, the Burmese python. These snakes can reach 20 feet in length and have no problem eating large prey items such as large birds, deer, and even alligators. Today, myself, Chris, Donna Khalil, and Kevin will be teaming up and heading into the Everglades to try to remove some of these invasive pythons. Hey guys, we're heading out for pythons today. We just had a cold snap and that's gonna bring some of them out and we're in the breeding season. So it's a prime time to get out and try to find some. So today we're heading out with Donna Khalil. She's a contracted python hunter and she has the python perch. It's an elevated platform on top of her vehicle that gives us a bird's eye view to be able to spot the snakes. So let's go see what we can find. It isn't long before the boys hear something in the bushes, and then... They were able to spot and catch not one, but two invasive Burmese pythons. Both of these snakes are over eight feet long. Pythons are bagged up and then we're back on the road looking for more. Get him. Check him out, huh? Look at the ticks on him. Come around. That's a beautiful one too. Spicy. Check that out, huh? So wild Burmese python here in the Everglades. <sighs> yeah, this one's covered in ticks, which is just skeeving me out right now. <laughs> you can see that huge tick right on the neck right there. Just gnarly looking. So these guys are an invasive species native to Southeast Asia, causing big problems here in the Everglades, eating our native wildlife. They are known to eat just about anything and everything. All of our different wading birds, alligators, I don't mean baby alligators either, I mean like a five foot alligator, white-tailed deer, bobcat, just causing all sorts of problems. Yeah, they breed prolifically. We just got a 13 foot one about a week or two ago that had almost 50 egg follicles inside. That's not even a lot. They can have double that amount. Now they're very successful because the babies will grow very rapidly. Once they hatch out of the egg, they're already about two feet long, and then they can grow to over six feet in the first year or two. And at that point, they've surpassed basically all of our native snake predators, and there's nothing to really mess with them other than an alligator. Being disgusting. All right, so we're gonna bag this guy up. There we go. So I like to grab the head from inside the bag like that. That way it's right there. That way you don't end up getting bit when you're trying to back them up. Unfortunately, the camera wasn't rolling, 
but shortly after, Kevin was able to spot three pythons in a breeding ball. He ran down and grabbed all three at once, making our grand total six pythons. So how exactly did these pythons that are originally from Asia end up in the Everglades? How did they get here? Well, some people will tell you that during Hurricane Andrew, a facility that was housing hundreds of pythons was destroyed, therefore releasing them into the wild. Other people will tell you that it was people releasing their pet snakes after they got too large. Honestly, it's probably a combination of both of these things. But however they got here, they're here to stay and they're a huge problem. Chris caught his first python in the Everglades in 2006 and has been catching them ever since. He's worked under multiple agencies removing pythons over the years, and in just the last two months he has contributed to capturing 18, including three over 13 feet. So this is a pair we just got from that breeding ball. Look at the color difference between these two though. I mean, that, that's pretty incredible to look at. And the reasoning is this one is going to shed soon. You can see the eyes right there. If you take a look, the eyes are actually blue. See this one's eyes are clear. And just what an amazing difference in coloration right there. Hey guys, so this is our haul for today. We ended up with six pythons and they were in two different groups. Pretty epic day. So we're out here with Donna. We haven't properly introduced her. You wanna, you wanna talk about yourself, Donna? Yep, yeah, I'm Donna Khalil. I uh, work for South Florida Water Management and FWC catching pythons out here in the Everglades. And uh, yeah, this is gonna make it about 145 or so, so far, taken it, out of the Everglades. And for the program, these are numbers 2000... 2001, a space odyssey, no, Python odyssey. <laughs> 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, and 2006. All right, dude, that is amazing. Yes. Just look at these guys, huh? Yep, yeah. Breeding ball and uh, possibly, what were the other two? Were they both males or? I'm not even sure. You know, they were both outside that burrow. Yeah. 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 So they might've just been sharing an area or there could have been a female we missed. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. We'll go back and get her later. <laughs> um, but hey, check this out. If you come in closer, look at this python's face. It actually has a tick where the eye is supposed to be. Oh, that's That right. is so gnarly and oh. nasty. That is just nasty. So all the snakes we got today had ticks on them, but I mean, that one is missing an eye and there's a tick where the eye should be. It's just horrifying. <laughs> snakes don't gross me out, but ticks do. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Really gross. This is quite a haul though. Yeah, it sure is. Well, thank you guys for uh, spotting and catching and- Yeah, and thanks thanks for having us on the Python perch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we wouldn't have done this. We wouldn't have got this many. I know that for a fact. Like if, if uh, Kevin and I just got on our own, I bet you we would have got at least the first group but the second group we would have never spotted without that python perch having the bird's eye view yep yep that helps so this is our haul for the day thanks for uh tuning in watching the video guys and we look forward to seeing you on the uh, next python hunt to learn more about the invasive python situation happening in florida or to view all of the frequently asked questions we've received head over to chris's website where he's created a blog in great detail talking about this situation This is our haul for today. We, oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm losing it. All right, I'm losing this here too. Hey, I got my hands full, <laughs> buddy. Don't bite me. He's gonna let loose. How <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nasty that thing is. I really don't want it to squirt on uh, you. No, uh. it's too strong. I can't. Uh. I All made, right. I made it poop itself. Uh. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs>